Sonographic evaluation of the shoulder requires a systematic approach to ensure a proper and complete study. As in any musculoskeletal examination, it is important to take a pertinent history. Note that the examination of the shoulder is always a complete exam. The patient should be dressed to accommodate comparison imaging. Comparison imaging is not routine in the shoulder and is accomplished only on a case-by-case -case basis. Unless otherwise noted, orthogonal views are always taken of tendons and muscles. Sonographic evaluation of the shoulder includes the following anatomy. The biceps tendon, the subscapularis tendon, the acromioclavicular joint or AC joint, the supraspinatus tendon, the infraspinatus tendon, the posterior glenoid labrum, the spinal glenoid groove or notch, and always the subdeltoid subacromiobursa. The patient is seated on a swivel stool without wheels. If possible, the stool should not have a back. The patient is asked to confirm the shoulder that is to be evaluated, and a pertinent history is taken including any history of diabetes, gout, lupus, rheumatoid or osteoarthritis. Alone or in combination, these pathologies may alter the appearance of the tendon. The patient is asked if they have limited range of motion or, in the event of pain, does the pain wake them up at night. The patient is also asked if the current condition is a result of an injury and, if so, how long ago the injury occurred. Biceps tendon.